The new UI for India Toll Bypass feature allows our customers with locations in India to comply with regulatory restrictions there regarding call routing between voice over IP phone systems and public switch telephone networks through Control Hub. We've added two new screens to the call routing page under calling settings in Control Hub that allow for the creation and management of both zones and trusted network edges as well as a new page to our PSTN connection wizard for locations in India that allows our users to configure which zone a location in India falls under. These features were previously only available through the API. First, we'll take a look at trusted network edges. I'll click the tab. Here I'm taken to a page with a list of all the trusted network edges for my organization. Trusted network edges are defined as a collection of IP addresses that represent edge breakout nodes to the WebEx calling service. I can see here all my trusted network edges, whether or not they're in use by a zone, and I can click here to see a list of actions I can perform on each trusted network edge in the list. We'll take a look at those actions later. Right now, I'm gonna create a new trusted network edge, so I'll click on this button. Here I'm taken to this form. I'll give my new trusted network edge a name. Allow that validation to complete. It has to be a unique name for my organization. And then I can add IP addresses or IP address ranges to my new trusted network edge here. I can either do that via the form here where I can add up to 200 IP addresses or ranges, or I can click the checkbox here to be navigated to a form where I can import a CSV to add IP addresses or IP address ranges in bulk. Right now though, we're just gonna add one IP address. I'll allow that to validate. And once the validation is complete, I can click Create. And there, my newly created Trusted Network Edge appears on the list. If I click it, I open a right-hand panel where I can view and edit all the properties for my Trusted Network Edge. We can change the name, for instance. Let's rename it. I'll let the validation complete and click Save. And there we can see the new name reflected in the right-hand panel and in the list. If I click IP addresses, I'm taken to a page where I can view and edit or add new IP addresses for my trusted network edge. If I click here, I can search my IP addresses or ranges list. I can click here to bring up the form to add a new IP address or range. I'll go ahead and add a new one. There it is in our list. And I can click here on this link to be taken to the form where I can import that CSV to bulk add IP addresses or ranges to my new trusted network edge. We'll click again on our trusted network edge in the list here to bring up the right hand panel. I'll click on zones and here I can see a list of all the zones that are using this trusted network edge. Now we've newly created this trusted network edge so it's not in use by any zones. So let's go ahead and create a zone to use our trusted network edge. I'll navigate to the zones tab. Here I have a list of all the zones for my organization. And zones are defined as different PSTN geographical areas that apply to locations in India only. I can see the list of zone names here, what trusted network edge has been assigned to them, and whether or not they're in use by a location. I have the same actions here as trusted network edge, and if I click on it, I can see my list of actions. Import IP addresses CSV takes me to the same form where I can upload that CSV to bulk add IP addresses to my zone or trusted network edge. If I click on export IP addresses CSV, I can download a CSV file that has all of the IP addresses for my zone or trusted network edge. Or I can click here to delete a zone or trusted network edge. To delete a zone or trusted network edge, it cannot be in use. So I'll go ahead and click here on confirm. And there we've deleted that zone. Now let's create a zone. I'll click on create a zone where I'm taken to this form. I'll give my new zone a name. Once the validation is complete, let me go ahead and select a trusted network edge for my new zone. Right here, same as trusted network edges. I can go ahead and add IP addresses or ranges. Let's go ahead and add a range of IP addresses. Once the validation is complete, I'll click create and there our new zone appears on our list. I'll click this zone and just like trusted network edges, it brings open that right hand panel where I can view and edit all of the properties for my new zone. We'll rename this zone. And let's also switch the trusted network edge assigned to this zone 
to the trusted network edge that we created earlier. Go ahead and click save. And now that our trusted network edge is assigned to a zone, let's go back to the trusted network edge list. We can see our newly created trusted network edge here. We can see that it's in use. And if we click on it and we go to zones, here's our newly created zone in our list of zones that are using our trusted network edge. Let's hop back over to the zones page. Click on our newly created zone again. IP addresses takes us to the same page where we can view, delete, or edit any IP addresses or ranges for our zone. Let's go ahead and add an IP address here. And you can see that the validation actually tells me that it overlaps with an existing IP address or range. It's because I've added this range. So let's go ahead and remove this range. And then I'll add my IP address here. There it appears in our list. Let's navigate back. And then if I click on the locations link, I'm taken to a list of all the locations that are part of my newly created zone. Just like with trusted network edges, it's new, so we need to assign a location. Let's go to our locations page under calling. Let's pick a location. And then once it loads, let's manage the PSTN connection for our location. And here we can see the newly created screen for the PSTN connection wizard for our location. We have the option here to assign a zone. So let's assign our location to the zone that we just created, new zone. Here we have the choice for our trunk. It lets us know that our trunk is located in our India location. I'll click confirm and click next. And then I'm taking to a confirmation page where I can see that my location is assigned to my newly created zone. Let's navigate back to call routing into zones. Here's my newly created zone. I can see that my new trusted network edge that I assigned is listed here. And I can see that it's showing as in use by a location. If I click it, navigate to locations, here we can see the location that we just assigned earlier. Now, like I mentioned, you can't delete any zone or trusted network edge that's in use. You can see here that it's grayed out. So let's go back. Let's unassign our zone on our PST and connection wizard page. We'll actually assign no zone. And if I click next, I'm given a prompt that lets me know that there's no zone selected and I won't be in compliance with the toll bypass regulations. Let's go ahead and click continue where I get to the confirmation page where I get the same warning. Let's head back to our call routing zones page. Here's our newly created zone. I can see it's no longer in use by a location. It's not assigned to any locations in the list here. So now I can go ahead and delete it. And now if we navigate to trusted network edges, I can see that my trusted network edge is now no longer in use. And I can go ahead and delete that one as well. So that is the new UI for India toll bypass feature. Thanks for watching.